Hey everyone, so if you're in the market for a new microphone for your music or for your content, then this video just might be for you. Now the mics I'll be comparing are in great value in terms of price point, quality, and versatility. And they can even be used in professional settings. Now for the record, this video is not sponsored. So why these mics? Well, in early 2020, when deciding on which microphone to purchase, I spent some time researching which microphones would sound excellent on the trombone and which microphones would best fit my budget. So basically, I wanted something of the highest quality, but also affordable for me. Originally, I chose the Zoom H4n Pro, which I'm actually recording my voice with right now, because it just seemed to be a good overall microphone that I could record my live performances with, and eventually ended up being a great microphone to start creating higher quality YouTube content. So later in 2020, when thinking about upgrading to more professional grade equipment, I did a ton of research and reached out to a sound engineer friend of mine and organist, Jim Albertson. Now Jim also recorded and mixed my debut album, which is actually scheduled to be released later this summer, so that's something to keep an eye out for. What I ended up choosing was a Cascade Fathead BE Bare Essentials model, ribbon microphone, and a AKG C214 condenser microphone. So of course, if you're gonna be recording with studio mics, you're also gonna need an audio interface, some mic cables, a mic stand, and a DAW, which is a digital audio workstation. So these are some things to keep in mind. Okay, so for the shootout, I'm using my Bach 36 medium board trombone at a couple of different distances with varying volumes and with varying musical styles and with no effects. So let's get started.
Test one, two from about five feet away with a normal speaking voice. Test one, two from about three feet away. And test one, two from about a foot away with no pop screen. Test one, two from about five feet away with a normal speaking voice. Test one, two from about three feet away. And test one, two from about a foot away with no pop screen. Test one, two from about five feet away with a normal speaking voice. Test one, two from about three feet away. And test one, two from about a foot away with no pop screen.
So there it is. So I wanted to mention real quick that another thing that you can do is mix and match these microphones within your mix to kind of have an emphasis on different frequencies. Now, if you found this video useful or interesting, please like it and share it and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Tell me what you think about the different mic sounds down below in the comments and also down in the comments, let me know if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. Peace.